Hello Pisces, welcome to Creators on the Crest. My name is Stephanie and this is your February bonus reading. Please keep in mind to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for additional context. These are general readings, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading, I will have my contact information in the description below. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Pisces, today we are going to get into a question. And this question is, what are you, Pisces, no longer available for? What are you no longer available for? What boundaries do you need with something? What do you want to let go of? And I've separated my Illuminated Earth Oracle into two piles, challenges and solutions. So we're going to see here what it is that you no longer want to put your energy into or it's time to move on from and then we're going to see how you can do that okay pisces you're showing me a block you're showing me that you feel blocked somehow so something has you pinned in something has you pinned down not really an energy that a pisces likes pisces likes to flow pisces pisces like to move they don't like to feel trapped they don't like to feel blocked in Okay, let's see if we can find out how you are going to move through and beyond this energy and show up in a different manner. And you got connection. So perhaps a new type of connection coming in to help you unblock either yourself. This could be self-imposed blocks or it could be blocks that are placed in your path and obstacles for you to overcome. Let's get some more detail here so we can see how connection of some sort might open this up and have you flowing again. We're gonna pull some tarot cards here. Wow, okay, Pisces. You got the 10 of wands, the knight of swords, and the seven of pinnacles. Whatever has, has you blocked or feeling stuck, it's become really heavy, like a heavy burden for you. It's really weighing you down. Um, it, it may feel because of your nature and your makeup and who you are as a shamanic sign, meaning that you are really used to flowing between heaven and earth. And for whatever reason, this block has you, like you're like, really like here on earth you're like really weighted down with something probably pretty practical from what i can see because you did get the seven of pinnacles that might be blocking you now you have this knight of swords the knight of swords in this card he's kind of running away as fast as he can trying to get to his little motorbike to speed away I don't know if that's how you're gonna truly escape the energies of feeling blocked. I understand that that's how you feel and in your thoughts, it, this is one of those thoughts, it, it feels like you just wanna get in your car and drive and you don't care where you end up. You're just gonna drive so you can't drive no more, <laughs> okay? It's that kind of running away feeling. It, it doesn't really, show me that it, it's going to lead to connection, but the seven of pinnacles coming in does. This is where you stop, you take a look at the blocks, and you start shining your light on those blocks, okay? Maybe a bit of a, not forced, but intentional process for you at first, because you are used to flowing, and instead of flowing, you may need to stay paused here and really take a look at these blocks. I feel like these blocks are here as teachers for you. Let's get some more clarifiers here to see what you're supposed to be learning in all this. And I wanna see that connection energy. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, okay. All right, Pisces, so the 10 of wands is clarified by the three of swords. So not only does this, this what has blocked you or the way you feel blocked, could be writer's block, could be a creative block, could be a financial block. Not only does it have you feeling a bit weighted down and a little kind of trapped in, in the 
dense density of this reality, it it's hurting your heart. There are parts of whatever has happened here that, that have hurt your heart. And you're showing me that underneath it all, that might be why you want to run away even more. However, the Knight of Swords gets clarified by the Six of Cups. So even though you may want to run away, this is you turning around, coming into your heart and being able to celebrate something that you find inside your heart space here. Some sort of love, some sort of more pleasant emotion is in your heart. You may just have to move a little and move a little differently to get there. I also see you recognizing that this block and, and, and your ability to transform this is connected to the well-being of other people in your life or dependents like somebody, a child or someone that relies on you. So it's even that much more important here. And it's, it is teaching you how to stay present with yourself. And even though the situation at times might feel like you're trapped in and grim, to stay present with yourself and stay in your heart for yourself, not necessarily for someone else, but for yourself and anyone who you might be a guardian for, anyone who might be depending on you. Now, for that connection, you're looking for that connection. The connection is actually going to come through the more earthly part of this experience with the blocks, which is interesting because you are used to kind of cycling heaven and earth, heaven and earth, and you're being asked to stay earth side for a bit, a bit more than you're comfortable with. But this is going to roll in slowly a new beginning for you. As long as you take a look at these blocks, shine the light on it, figure out what got you there and then reconnect in with yourself. I feel in this connection card, I'm seeing a reflection of the mountain in the water. And that to me is, so the sky and mountain are reflected in the water, right? And that is, that is you, that is you traveling and traversing. And I know that at times, whatever has you blocked makes you want to run. It makes you want to run away from it. But I do see you turning to your heart here and grounding back in to the earth and spending a bit more time here so you can get that brand new unblocked beginning here and reconnect. This is going to be a, be a bit of a slower process for you, especially it's going to feel so slow to you because you're used to like flowing more quickly, <laughs> Pisces. So it's gonna feel a little slower to you, but have patience. And if I didn't mention it, we do have some yard landscapers out here doing something across the street. So you might be hearing that constant hum of their trucks over there. But this is real life. This is what we deal with. We're not gonna let them block us, right? Wow, you got the moth, which says death. Okay, so definitely a transformative feeling here. The word death may at first cause you discomfort, but in the natural world, death is an essential part of rebirth, new growth, and sustaining life. While you may choose to view this card as a representation of physical death, keep in mind, it also signifies a symbolic death. This card may mean the end of a journey, the end of a relationship, or the end of an attachment or the end of a block. It may also represent the end of one path and movement on to the next. And that is what I get here. And it may feel a little dark, a little shadowy to you, Pisces, but let the moon, let your own intuition light your way through this. Come into the heart space. Okay, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next time.